Hello friends, hope you're all doing great. Welcome to today's video where we're going over all the latest leaks and rumors in regards to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We've got a bunch of things to cover in today's video. We are gonna talk about a potential leak of Whoopers new regional form, a potential brand new evolution for Quagsire. We've got a lot of information to go over in regards to multiple new bug lines potentially coming in Scarlet and Violet, plus much more. So thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Do drop a like on the video, it does really help out the channel. Hit that subscribe button if you would like to stay up to date with all of the latest leaks and rumors. So without further ado friends, let's jump into it. We're gonna hop over first onto Twitter and take a look at the latest leaks by Riddler Koo, big renowned leaker within the community. He's put out this picture of the next hint, which is all relating to the month that he's kind of giving riddles to his new Pokemon. So this hints at a new Pokemon. Now, this is a picture of an Upa, uh, which is a, in Japan, they are kind of like a, a little gift ball. You put a coin into a vending machine and you get a ball out and that's what this refers to. The funny thing is though, the Upa is also the Japanese name for Wooper. So if we go over to Soul Silver Art, very well known league analyst within the community breaks things down brilliantly so we're going to have a look at what they are saying about this my number one pick for this answer to this theory is simply its hint to Wooper. In Japanese, Wooper's name is Upa. So like we've just mentioned, it makes complete sense. But it's not just that you will remember Ku's second RF riddle. Well, I've been saying for a month now that it's Wooper and probably not Quagsire as I believe. It will evolve into a brand new Pokemon based on Eldrak. Now Eldrak is this picture here. Uh, this is kind of a mosaic design that was created in the early 1900s, I believe, um, which Eldrak translates into the dragon. Um, so this has been hinted at from a previous riddle from Ku, which was originally put out in regards to a bunch of numbers, uh, hex symbols and things like that, which was cracked and came back as a water ground type, hinting again at Wooper Quagsire line. Um, so, Soul Silver goes on to say, evolve into a brand new Pokemon based on Eldrak. This just fully solidifies this theory since it's new Pokemon month. And if this really is pointing to Wooper, it means it would have to get a new evolution, but also a new RF or regional form because of the previous riddle. It's simple but hidden in plain sight. And it makes sense that we'd revisit Wooper RF if he knew it would evolve into a new Mon. Oddly, this could also hint to it being steel type, and that's in regards to the actual picture itself. The steel typing is coming from the Wooper here, or the Upa, um, that is metal, uh, hinting at potentially a steel type. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, all the colors he added could be further pointing to it evolving into Eldrak. Dragon Steel type adds up nicely. Uh, I'll add to this theory as well. Now, all 4.5 theories are in one thread. Whooper one still wins for me, but let's see what happens. This is all I've got for me from now. So I think this makes perfect sense. I think Soul Silver's breakdown of this, as usual, is pretty spot on. Um, so we've got the Whooper here, the Upa, which has actually been colored in by Ku. Um, now, in the in the original movie where this pitch is taken from, this thing is just silver, but Ku's added different colors to it here, which could indicate it maybe hinting at the new evolution Eldrak. There's the same sort of coloration in Eldrak as you've got here. You've got these kind of turquoisey blues and reds that we, we are gonna see in Eldrak uh, if you come down to this and you've got similar colors like the turquoisey blue here, you've got kind of the reds and things. So maybe hinting at it as well, I don't know or just hinting at that kind of mosaic sort of pattern. But this is the original picture here, which is just that steel typing. But for some reason in the riddle itself, Ku has colored that in. So that must hint at something. Uh, Upa is the translation of Wooper in Japan. So it makes perfect sense that this turns over into Upa or Wupa being having a regional form. Uh, we've got some more further kind of backup information from this uh, Pokemon FM. Uh, I watched this scene and the following things happen during the scene so uh, Pokemon FM actually breaks down what happens in this scene one a coin was inserted to get Upa a ball item uh, from the box of toys uh, the machine spits out a yellow item that contains the Upa 
then they open it and they find the upa where the girl comments it is a metal upa and that the metal upa is rare maybe steel type reference and that's that's a big hint potentially to have a steel type whooper in Scarlet and Violet that evolves into something that's taken a lot of influence from Eldrak, potentially a water dragon type or ground dragon type, potentially it could be up in the air, you know? So they're potentially the new things because it is new Pokemon month, although Wooper won't be a new Pokemon, Quagsire, if it does get a new evolution or regional form it would be a new pokemon that we haven't seen before kind of falling into that theory uh when uh, they open it they find the upa where the girl comments it is a metal upa we've covered that one uh, also there was a poster showing different types of upa upa and they are based on a mouse bear so all in all what i get from this is coin Number two, toy, metal, different colors, bear mouse, secret form. The unpainted Upo was painted by Ku to look like a Voltorb. Uh, possibilities that I see Voltorb Evo, future form or Evos to a new Pokemon. Pokemon based on a toy. The coin Pokemon has two different Evos. One is a chest and the other is a toy. Whatever that Pokemon is, it will be a steel type. So that's kind of interesting, hinting at potentially other leaks that Koo's put out or the riddles that Koo's put out. We've already covered the coin Pokemon. Interesting that in this scene, there is a coin as well. So there could be referencing to that. Um, and like Pokemon FM says, there could be some sort of rarity to that and steel type in reference to that as well. I'm not really too sure on the, the painting to the Voltorb Evo. It could be a new regional form of Voltorb. It could hint at that. But all in all, I feel like what uh, Soul Silver's kind of wrapped this up into being a, a, a new regional form of Wooper and then a brand new evolution into a different Quagsire that's based on Eldrak makes perfect sense to me. But let me know down in the comment section what your thoughts are on this. Would love to hear about them. And then we've got another breakdown here and this is from Chansey Channel, which I really do like and it kind of links back to a previous image that we've talked about in other videos. Uh, this is an indication uh, the Wooper line is getting a new Evo in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm betting on Quagsar Regional Evo. A la Ursula, I'd say a Water Dragon or Ground Dragon um, Quadrupedal Pokemon. So if you go back down to this leak that we had previously, and then you've got the kind of uh, Wooper kind of hint here, we mentioned that. And th I think the big link to this in the Eldraco is the fact that you've got like a multicolored kind of gecko looking lizard, I guess, in this picture here, which links up well with Upa being the Wooper. Um, and then, and then you can see here on the, the, Bulbas, the Bulbapedia link here, you've got the Japanese translation, its name in Japan translates directly to Upa. And then you've got Eldrak as well. So there is similarities between these leaked or debunked potentially what were called classed as fake images would i i do believe that these are not fake i think these are a genuine leak and they do add up to the l drac drac um image pretty well so that's interesting potentially new whooper uh, regional form and brand new quagsire form very exciting though coming and um that kind of wraps up this new leak uh, like i say let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below this moves us on to our next Riddler coup has been so busy recently. We don't normally get this amount of uh, riddles and hints uh, and like we have in this short space of time. So um, we've got to really appreciate them while we get them. But considering we're coming up to the end of the month soon and we're potentially getting maybe new news uh, with, alongside uh, Pokemon and Nintendo Direct, it could hint that who wants to get information out now so he's ahead of the curb when announcements, official announcements get dropped. So the next thing that Ku dropped, this was yesterday, was a new riddle and it was all just kind of coding, um, which I have to admit, I am completely stumped by this sort of stuff. I have no real idea what's going on here, but he follows it up by saying, how many bugmons do you find while debugging this project? Each is a new line enjoy hardcore riddle series which it definitely is and then uh, one final follow-up kindly reminder descriptions for each line are also mentioned so this is the code in the code if you can crack it if you are a coder you're going to be able to i guess navigate around this and find out where the errors are um but the hint in this is obviously how many bug mons do you find while debugging this project so there are bugs in this coding 
And if you're a coder, you'll be able to kind of decipher where these bugs are, where the errors are, and that's going to indicate how many bug Pokemon or bug lines they're going to be in this coding. Um, so he's kind of hinted at that. Again, we'll go back to Soul Silver here um, because he breaks it down great and along with a bunch of other leaking analysts within the community that we'll mention as we go through this i think we get a good idea of what and how many bug type pokemon bug lines we're gonna expect in scarlet and violet which is pretty exciting for you bug fans out there okay i was completely stumped by this one but now ku has given us a key to the riddle above uh, i had a feeling he made those mistakes on purpose so now how many bug errors are there in this code each error is a new bug line or a line of the riddle we need to decipher so he goes on to say uh, i'm getting reports that there are at least three errors but there could be more if there was really over 100 new pokemon i'm praying there's over five new bug lines if we don't understand we need someone to fully debug the code the amount of code could add up to the new bug lines in scarlet and violet now here we go this is where we've got other people in the community coming through that are coders relevant know what they're doing in this sort of thing looks like plausible to me i don't know much about coding but four to five bug lines make sense to me though we are leaning heavily towards four great job by summer theories either way i'll add up to this date if there's any changes i love my bug type so summer theories is a person on twitter who has actually pretty much cracked this code as far as we know right now put a lot of work into this so big props to them uh, this was a little conversation that they had with Soul Silver Art. Um, so, wow, so it is four or five though. Yes, um, uh, I'm not sure whether he count the first one marked on yellow as one or two. That's why I'm not sure whether exactly four or five counts. I'd say more four than five because at the end of the day, you can put that into one single line. So this is some of Theory's post. This is the breakdown of it. Here we are. Uh, I don't know whether the first one marked yellow or count as one or two. So the answer is either four or five. So that's still up for debate now. Um, also here, I will leave uh, as well the path that the puppy follows to tries to follow until it reaches the goal. Good backtracking. So we've got like coding here, which is directing, I guess, the puppy, which is referred to here. And it's kind of going around a maze to get to this end point which is 100 which might indicate how many pokemon we're getting in total in scarlet and violet new pokemon at least uh, which is absolutely huge like it's been rumored that we're going to get a lot of new pokemon in these games but if this is a direct hint to say we're going to get 100 brand new pokemon in these games that is massive because that is a huge amount of new pokemon which we haven't had that amount of new pokemon in a new generation for a very long time so big hint here and then he goes on to kind of break down um the coding a bit and put some information on it so that's some of theory's work there and if we go over to soul silver he's kind of updated this to say um you know uh, potential spoilers had luck cracking coups riddles there's a list of the most recent probably bipedal waifu sprigatito evo we've covered that as well in previous videos coin object mon we have covered that as well probably evolves by collecting many coins to release a ghost steel type mimic treasure object mon uh whooper new regional evolution which we covered today and um, there are at least four waifu mon uh with less than four husbando mons uh we've got three to four new bug lines and that's from directly from this coding riddle here um we've got uh potentially one japanese bug which ku has hinted at uh, a dung beetle pokemon which is kind of translated within the coding stink bug and then the fourth one this still is unknown at the moment working on bigger list of all the riddles and my answers to them coming soon these are just a very educated guesses i could easily be wrong about something that's pretty interesting as well so the the coding kind of hints at different sort of bugs because if you look at ku each line is uh, added um, and then he hints at that. Can you remember descriptions for each line are also mentioned? So descriptions of these bug lines are mentioned and that's what Soul Silver is referring to here. There is a Japanese bug mentioned, a dung beetle and a stink bug from the coding and deciphering of that. So there's potentially another one and maybe even a fifth one on top of that. Just depends if certain areas of the code are included in this or if there are sections of it not like we've already mentioned, but uh, potentially getting five four 
to five new bug type lines in Scarlet and Violet, which is very exciting, especially for all you bug fans out there. Pokemon FM, who we've already mentioned, um, does go on to say, I can see two types of insects hinted here. The first one is the dog flea, and this is very common in Spain, especially with the climate, and Ku is hinting on a dog a lot or in the code, which makes sense. So a uh, flea, very common um, bug in Spain, and um, this one could could be referenced, you know, uh, in the, the code puppy has mentioned a lot so there is that kind of dog mention as well which could hint to it as well the second pokemon is probably a new butterfly or moth that was implied by the word board in the cord spreading board is a tool for insect collection mainly butterflies uh, and insects with wings maybe implying a butterfly bug ghost type pokemon and you can see this here. This is hinted at in the card. Uh, what is a spreading board? A spreading board, all butterflies and moths and sometimes other insects are mounted on with their wings spread. The spreading board is therefore an important piece of equipment for insect collectors, Paul butterflies and moths. Uh, so the, the basic kind of roundup from Pokemon FM. So basically what I think he is hinting at, uh, not more than five bug Pokemon lines, dog flea Pokemon, butterfly moth bug, ghost type Pokemon, Japanese bug, which is pretty much synonymous across the board, I think for most of the leakers, and possible regional forms from past bugs that we've already had in other generations. So very exciting. New bug line Pokemon, which I'm sure we will get information of as we go forward. Official releases uh, will confirm all of this, I'm sure, and maybe we get some more hints from Riddler Koo as the days go on. If we do, of course, we're gonna cover those as and when they drop out. So the final things, they are the main things that we're gonna cover today. The next thing that I did wanna mention, just a little bit on a light heart or not, was this tweet as well, just to get your opinions on it, because I, I believe it's a fake, it's fan art, I think. But you can never know. You never know these things. I do think it's fan art, but I wanted to get your opinion on what you thought of this design. I think the concept art here for Sprigatito's final evolution is awesome. It's probably the, my favorite one I've seen of Sprigatito, um, although I do think the game shot is fake. We've got, obviously, this is the image here of the, the, the concept art of Sprigatito. It looks very familiar to previous concept arts for other past starters we've had in older generations. And then this image here uh, of a potential, supposedly in-game image of the Sprigati of Final Evo. Um, but you know, there's there's big hints to say why it's it's fake. Uh, the, the fact that it's blurry for one is always a big sign for me to say, well, if you're kind of putting this out as a leak, why is it blurry? It's obviously to, I guess, make it, try and make it more believable or, you know, like there's something wrong with the camera, but it, they, they, the fakes always seem to have the blur. Like I say, we don't know yet, but I would say 99% of this is fake. Uh, but this is from MK8 uh, Moto Papi. Uh, it's the way I would sign in a heartbeat for this to be Sprigatito's evolution. It keeps its Iberian Lynx design, which I really do like. It's serving a warish kitten. It's not bipedal and it's not ruined trying to turn the line into a Puss in Boots El Zorro concept. Now, this could be something that we see, you know, it could be a quadrupedal and then actually when it's in battle there's nothing to say it it's not going to be bipedal where it goes up onto two legs but for some of the time it does stay on four legs but I would say, as you can see through the comment section from this tweet, that it is fake, but I did want to mention it in today's video. I think the design itself is really cool. And the other reason why it did bring it up today is because it doesn't look very dark typing uh, here. It kind of has that kind of sinister look to it, of course, um, but it doesn't look like a dark typing. Um, that was pointed out by Blaze Incineroar in the thread below. But the thing that I wanted to, to kind of hint on was another Pokemon YouTuber uh, on the uh, Pokemon Tsutome has just put out a video recently of all the latest Japanese rumors from Japanese social media in regards to the Star and Evolutions. Now, if you get a chance, I would go watch this video. It is in English, so you can, you can understand it. It's not in Japanese, but some great information in this video itself. I'll not show it on here, I'll let you go and watch this video. Um, but the one thing that she mentions in the video is the potential final Evo the the stats the typing of Sprigatito and in her leaks from the Japanese community Sprigatito is not a grass dog typing even though Ku's confirmed that pretty much 
it is just a pure grass typing, which this adds up to perfectly. And this is why I mentioned this. I think the grass typing would make sense for this particular fan art. Now, whether this is taking inspiration from the Japanese kind of social media theories or leaks, and this is where it's come from, who knows, but it does have a bit of interest as well as the meaning behind the Japanese meaning of a Sprigadillo's final evolution. The name of it has flower in it, referenced in it. So it kind of pulls as well towards this design. Um, like I say, I'm not really too sure on it, but they do hint at the uh, the hidden ability for Sprigatito as well. And they talk about it having protein, which Ku has already mentioned it as well, that Sprigatito would be the Pokemon that he chooses in game because of its broken hidden ability, but it depends on its move set. Protein depends on the move pool that a Pokemon has, so it makes complete sense. So maybe we are gonna get a protein Hidden ability, Sprigatito Final Evo. Whether or not this is the this is the one or not, I don't think so. To be honest, I I would believe Ku more than I would believe the Japanese social media scene leaks. I think Grass Dark is what we're gonna get. Um, and if we do get a Grass Dark and it does have a hidden ability of protein, that is gonna be insane. But let me know your thoughts down below, friends. Um, and that about wraps up today's updates and leaks that we've had over the past few days. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, got something out of it. If you have, please remember to drop a like on the video. And like I say, subscribe to the channel to make sure you stay up to date with all of these latest leaks and rumors in regards to Scarlet and Violet. I'm so hyped for these games exciting that we could potentially be getting brand new bug lines and not just one a bunch of them as well bug pokemon are very cool some of my favorites and uh, i would love to see them get a buff in competitive and just in general and just have a bit more uh, usability and um, so we'll see what happens sprigati are kind of interesting as well especially if that hidden ability is protein seems absolutely broken let me know your thoughts down below very excited about Wooper quagsar one of my favorite Pokemon when they got released in Gen 2. So to see them coming back and having a bit more love and potentially new forms is very exciting, but we're gonna leave it there, friends. We'll be back very soon to cover more of the latest leaks and rumors. So until then, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next one. So until then, take care, bye-bye.